0700411. After months of searching, our archaeological dig has finally found something. It appears to be synthetic, adding evidence to our belief that there was once life on this planet. of a lot of things, like the dark, airplanes, thunderstorms, and dinosaurs. But my mom says that was okay, because she was afraid of those things when she was my age, too. She gave me this doll to protect me at times like this, when I'm afraid. His real name is Andy, but I call him Pedro after my favorite soccer player. Goodbye, Pedro. I hope he protects you. This is my son Paul's Rubik's Cube. Once he talked back to me because he didn't want to wash the dishes, so as punishment, I sent him to his room. When he asked to come out, my wife told him he could come out when he solved it. He solved it in five minutes, just a spider. I thought maybe he was pulling a fast one on me, you know, pulled the stickers off or something, but I tried it and it ain't that easy. When he showed me, and I realized just how smart my boy was. I was so proud, I just about forgot why I was angry at him in the first place. He died two years later from radiation poisoning. I used to think I'd be dead before I figured this thing out. Well, I was wrong. Because I solved it today, right? And I ain't dead yet. Whoever finds this. My grandmother's recipe for blueberry pancakes. It's kind of silly, I know. I mean, there might not even be anything to make it out of. Like, like the oats and that little hint of honey and cinnamon. But even still, it fed me when we were hungry. And I hope that, that somebody else will love them as much as I do. Can you make out the symbols? No, it's a total loss. The uh, only thing I've ever been good at is drawing. And... I've been drawing you, Susan. I've been drawing you since the day we met. And uh, I'm not that good with girls. And I know it's the end and I'm not quite the last man on Earth, but... You are beautiful, Susan Tanaka. And... Maybe, maybe they'll find this and build a monument or something. I taught AP World History in high school for seven years. I told my students it was only through learning the past that we could truly shape our futures. It's a cliche, I know. But perhaps this will give some insight one day.
into who we were. Wait. You can't put that in there. Excuse me, sir? That history is what brought us to today. We can't be remembered for that. Remembered for what? Inventions, our, our architecture, our language? Our racism, our, our weapons, our wars. Everyone put something in. This is all I have to give. Please. It's our history. The good and the bad, but it's ours. According to who? The winner? Winner? Are you blind? There are no winners. We are all losers! Go! No! No! no. We've given them enough bad memories. You're kidding, right? You're going to shoot me now? It's the end of the world, and you're going to kill me? <laughs> Go ahead! Do it! It's all going to hell anyway. You might as well go too. Shoot! 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 Oh, oh, <gasps> Don't worry, it's over now. Thank you.